Breaking news tonight, two teenagers are under arrest in Manchester, England, and are being questioned about their connection to yesterday's hostage standoff at a synagogue near Fort Worth, Texas. They apparently know the suspect in this case, a British citizen who was killed by police. Meantime, Jewish leaders here in Boston are condemning the hostage ordeal as terrorism and pledging to renew their readiness. You come online after the Sabbath, you read that this hostage situation is unfolding, and the first thing you think is, this could be us. Local Jewish leaders reacting tonight to Saturday's hostage standoff in Colleyville, Texas, where the rabbi at Congregation Beth Israel credits his synagogue's years of preparation for such an event with saving lives. We've learned that the training and the preparation uh, and the relationships that you build um, beforehand are essential for making it through something like this. Police say a 44-year-old Muslim British national disrupted yesterday's service and took hostages, including the rabbi. What followed was a 10-hour standoff before the gunman was shot dead by police. The HRT, the hostage rescue team, breached uh, the, um, the synagogue. Uh, they rescued the three hostages, and uh, the, the subject is deceased. During the standoff, the gunman ranted against Israel and Jews, but he then demanded the release of a Pakistani scientist serving a lengthy prison sentence in Texas for trying to kill U.S. Army officers in Afghanistan, seemingly conflicted motives. We just don't have enough facts. What is clear is that Muslims and Jews in that Texas community have worked long and hard to support each other, and that was evident after this incident. We are behind them and uh, we full support them and against this, uh, condemn this uh, uh, act. Fortunately, none of the hostages were harmed as authorities stormed the place. Nevertheless, local Jewish leaders say this act of anti-Semitism must be publicly called out and condemned while security efforts at synagogues everywhere are redoubled. You know, we are laser focused on making sure that no one in our community needs to, to go to synagogue, worship, practice their religion from a place of fear. The dead suspect in this case, Malik Faisal Akram, only came to this country a few weeks ago and there were no red flags when he cleared security. CNN is reporting tonight that his family is apologizing for his actions.